don't mind my appearance right now. Oh, there we go. I am in Cleveland right now. It is Tuesday afternoon, no, Wednesday afternoon, and it is wedding weekend. So I'm at Deeb's mom's house right now, just finishing up some last minute things for the wedding. Like if you look here, I have organizing all the table numbers right now. I have like the menus. I'm just organizing it for the staff at the venue for each table so they know like what meals they're having and stuff so I thought it was gonna take me faster than it actually is but it's taking so long but yeah so I'm just gonna be working on little things like that um, until Friday probably and then Iman is coming tomorrow to help me with stuff before the wedding and just like do some last minute stuff and then tomorrow night we have our religious ceremony Deep and I will officially be married tomorrow night and then the reception is on Saturday and I'm just gonna bring you guys along let's look at this little tedious annoying last minute wedding thing I'll talk to you guys later hey guys oh my god I look so scary right now I just got a spray tan so it looks like super blotchy, but I need to like wash it off later at like 6. Um, but it is Thursday afternoon. It is the next day. Honestly, I'm feeling kind of sick right now. Really a bad feeling two days before your wedding. So hopefully it goes away soon. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I am up to for the day. So right now I'm steaming my tablecloths. There's, they came in so crinkly like in the bags so I had to steam them really quick because it was so expensive to send to a dry cleaner It was like $14 each for the dry cleaner and I have like 40 I just thought that that wasn't worth it I could just do it like or try to do it quickly and have like help from family and stuff But Iman is on her way She's landing at 2 p.m. I think I'm gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna stop at her hotel and then stop at the venue and just like get some stuff ready there so I don't have to do everything all at once. And then Deeb and I have our religious ceremony tonight. So I'll have to shower and wash the stuff off and get ready for that. I'll check back in with you guys later. Good morning, guys. Guess where we are? Um, we are in Turks and Caicos Island right now for our honeymoon. Um, we did have the wedding two nights ago. We didn't get to um, vlog any of it because we were like extremely busy running around. But we'll insert some clips from the wedding hopefully into this vlog. So we arrived to Turks and Caicos yesterday and we barely slept so that's why I didn't vlog, but we went straight to sleep. I got to go to the beach for um, two hours. Um, I am here now, and we're about to go to breakfast, and then we're gonna try to go snorkeling. So I wanna show you guys around Island and like the resort we're staying at. We are staying at the Palms, Turks and Caicos, and so far, so good. It's been really very nice, very um, accommodating. So I'll take you guys along with me and give you guys a little tour of the hotel and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. We're just chilling here for like 30 minutes. We booked a snorkeling excursion, so we're gonna head out to the boat over there in about 30 minutes. We're gonna go snorkeling, and then I think we're gonna go um, chill in this other island that the boat will take us to. So I'll show you guys that. Hopefully, get some good footage. There.
we just got back from snorkeling it was so much fun we went snorkeling and we like jumped off the boat and we went down the slide we went to the to iguana island after and we saw some iguanas running around it was a really nice little island like half of it was like you could walk through the water it wasn't that deep or anything we did get freaked out because we met a couple on the beach they had just gotten off their snorkeling excursion and the woman told me that she was snorkeling and she was like underwater or whatever and she saw a seven foot shark like swimming three feet away from her and I was like what the hell like this is the last thing I want to hear before I go snorkeling I got so scared we actually mean deep both got so scared we just kept looking underwater and just like looking around and making sure there were no sharks approaching us or anything yeah we like told the captain like what that lady's and he's like oh yeah that's Johnny he just he just he hangs out in this area he just you know he's not gonna hurt you don't worry and I'm like oh okay okay Johnny like I feel like he was just saying that just to like make us feel better and that it was super Super fun. I 100% recommend this hotel is just so nice. It's like so chill, relaxed. Like the whole vibe of this beach we're at. I mentioned we're at the Palms, and that's on Grace Bay Beach, and it's just so relaxing. Like it's just the perfect spot for a honeymoon, or if like you just want to get away and like no kids or anything like that. And I really recommend it, and I really like this hotel. Other than that, I think we're just gonna like shower and chill right now, and go find somewhere to eat have dinner we off the resort i'm not quite sure yet i'll let you guys know and i'll talk to you in a bit good morning guys it is tuesday morning um i just want to catch you up on what deep and i did yesterday we had some work he needed to do and um one complaint about this hotel is the wi-fi is terrible but i mean like it works but barely i mean me personally i don't mind because it just it gives me a chance to like actually enjoy my vacation and not just like be playing on my phone so much so i, I don't mind but his job requires a lot of his attention so we just found like a spot outside of the resort and we just went and like ate there and had some like finger food and just used their wi-fi which was super fun that's pretty much all we did last night so we discovered this little town outside of the hotel it was, it was literally like a five minute drive it looked so nice like a bunch of shops i think we're gonna go explore that little town at some point this week basically the only complaint i have about this hotel and um something else that keeps happening that's so weird like i'm wearing my workout clothes right now complimentary breakfast until 10 30 a.m so i woke up at night it was like perfect i can go work out for 45 minutes come back wake up deep and then we can go have breakfast and then right before i'm about to leave i check my phone and it says 10 a.m and i'm like what the heck something i noticed that keeps happening here is the time an hour behind and it keeps flipping back and forth so you don't really know what time it is i have to keep googling time in turks and caicos so that's something else that's like pretty annoying so i didn't get to work out today but it's fine now we have like 30 minutes before our complimentary breakfast ends for the day so i just wanted to give you guys a quick little catch up on my balcony plans for today deep really wants to go parasailing so we're gonna do that for sure try to ride bikes maybe like to the town and go to the town and um, see what kind of shops they have, grab a bite to eat there, and of course go to the beach. Those are pretty much just our plans. This this island and hotels are like super chill. This is a, like they have activities, but it's not like the place to come if you're looking for a wild party experience or anything like that. It's really just to come and relax and do some activities and just eat and you know like lounge basically so i mean i preferably i think it's a great place to go on a honeymoon or with a significant other to just relax and there's really no kids here i only saw like a couple of kids running yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to give you guys an update and uh, i'll talk to you guys later tonight bye on the beach it's pretty cloudy today as you can see it's still bright but the sun is not as strong today it's still pretty hot got my coffee and this book that i just started reading 
Troy. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that I love Greek mythology. I love uh, Greek mythology books, Greek mythology movies, like anything like that, like action. Greek mythology is my favorite ever. Adib's inside taking a nap, and I'm just gonna lay here, read my book for a couple of hours, and then we're gonna go parasailing. is so strong i'm just reading my book and trying to get tan i look kind of tan right now but that's only because i had a spray tan from the wedding i have to keep taking water break but i normally don't like to swim in the ocean or like lakes or anything i prefer pools so like the water is so clear it's crazy it's so clear like i do not mind swimming in this i'm gonna actually go in the water right now and i'm gonna see if i can vlog with it without getting my camera wet little birdie that's a boat tour that we went on yesterday to go snorkeling into iguana island um highly recommend going in the water look how clear that is it's crazy you guys look it literally looks like a pool Sorry, this is my first time on an island where the water is this friggin' clear. Crazy. This is what the hotel looks like from outside. Super nice, super chill. There's a bunch of other hotels next to us too. Hey guys, so we're back. Just got back from the beach. We went parasailing and it was so much fun. It was kind of scary. I've been parasailing before, but I don't know. I guess I feel like the older you get, the scarier like heights and things like that get. I mean, it was really fun. And then we just hung out on the beach for a little bit back in the hotel room and we are starving. So we were looking where we could eat off the resort, try places like outside around our hotel when we went out last night we saw like some restaurants on the street so we just want to like try those places instead of just like staying stuck in the resort in a place called turks kebab and it has really good reviews and the food looks really good so i'm excited to try it and i'll take you guys with me there's no like full body mirror in this hotel room so i can't show you guys my outfits but i'm just gonna stand up and show you guys what i'm wearing i'm just wearing like these comfy Oh, let me move this back a little. He's like comfy white pants. Um, and then it's just little like crop tank top. It's super warm on the island, so be like comfy and flowy. And I'm gonna take my little green Gucci with me and top it off with my little Gucci squishy sandals. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It was pretty popular this past summer. And probably like a white little beach shirt, long sleeve shirt thingy I have, like a button up um, in case it gets chilly later tonight. I'm not sure what we're gonna do after after we go eat. He really wants to go to the casino, so we'll probably do that either tonight or tomorrow night. Let me show you guys our little balcony really quick. We just have like our swimsuit stuff there, just drying. This is the view from our balcony so you can see the pool over there and then the beach is just that way so could have asked for an ocean view but they were able to check us in like two hours early so I didn't want to delay that in any way and there's Deeb over there I'll talk to you guys in a bit On my way to the fitness center, I 
my clock was still wrong this morning, but I did wake up earlier, so I have a good 40, 45 minutes to work out before I go back to the hotel and wake up deep for breakfast. And today's our last full day here, unfortunately. So sad, I don't wanna leave. I wish I would have made this a longer trip. Four nights is not enough. Um, at least six nights would have been really good. I think after, we'll go have breakfast, we'll go to the activities lady, or the concierge, and see what activities we could do today, and then lay on the beach and relax. I'll show you guys the gym, and see how, what it looks like. It's in the spa area, so. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. 